What's up everybody, Snippa117 from Muted Productions here, bringing you something out of our normal Let's Plays and Tries and all that. I've uh, recently kind of come across this game, Seven Days to Die. I gotta say, if you haven't uh, heard of this game, look it up. Uh, I love what they're doing with it. It has great potential to um, to be amazing. And I think it's going to be an amazing game. I support this game, but, you know, obviously you click this link, name, whatever, because uh, you want to see it modded. And I kind of figured out a little bit on how to do that. First off, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Uh, the programs I will be using or showing how to do will be Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. All right? They're going to be using Hex Edit Workshop. Um, to be doing this, so let's get started, shall we? Alright, so you want to go into data, worlds, nav and game. You got these three files. Left click, control, holding control down, click this, entity spawners.xml, prefabs.xml, and entities.xml all need to be selected. You're going to hit control C. Or copy and pay copy, excuse me, copy. And back back out, and then you can just paste them right here. They won't mean anything in here. They'll be all nice and safe uh, for what we do next. So then, after you get those, this, this is our backups. Um, some people like to do the .bak, but I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm old school. So then you're gonna load the game up. I kind of already have mine up. You're gonna hit new game. I gotta tell you first off, this will be a little frustrating. Yeah, that's a good name. Um, at first, blah, it's great. Alright, first thing, hit the tab key. I'm going to show up here uh, a lot of stuff. Um, this is all very standard tab key. I don't know, I'm in alpha versions like 4 point something. Uh, kind of, this is one of the earlier alphas, so if you're watching this later on, you already see some uh, animals are spawning in. Anyways... Oh god. Anyways, so what you're gonna want to do? Jesus Christ! I had the volume down. That scared the shit out of me. I didn't expect that. Anyways, hit tab. You're gonna see that you died. And then you're gonna see current player position. All right. You're gonna want to bring up your handy mandy little notepad, and you're gonna want to hit current player position is negative one zero. 74.0 comma I'm about to get eaten alive 60.9 comma I'm a slow typer 344 point0 all right you're gonna have to keep this in here it's very important for what we're gonna be doing next zombie spawned apparently just a few paces away so we're gonna quit out real quick before I get eaten you can just just minimize that it's not important now then, with Visual Studios already open, we're going to start first off by doing Visual Studios. I always like to drag this in. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Got to go to Open, File. Let's just uh, save myself a little bit of sanity. Now, I'm not exactly 100% sure you have to do it this way, but I did. Yeah, roger that. Um, actually, you see uh, little icons, shit like that. If you want to edit that kind of stuff, I mean, that's up to you, really. But I just had it open to be open. You see the version number, all that fancy stuff. But anyways, I'm going to go back in here. We're going to go to Data, Worlds, Naves Gain. I feel like he just kind of mixed up Save Game. I don't know. All right, we're going to get Entities. Gonna drag that in. Going to get into these spawners for giggles, actually, and then prefabrications or prefabs into here. All right, so we're going to hop in right here, and you're going to immediately see a clusterfuck. Might be a little overwhelming for people who aren't used to reading code. It's it's really not that bad. This is very very sweet, and nice, very very nice. All right, this is this is an important. Now this is where it starts getting a little fancy. 
So you got House White 1. This is their na naming nomenclature for how they name their things. So you kind of got to take a few guesses here. Garage White. You know, think about what Garage White you're thinking of. Uh, stuff like that. And Entities. We have the Car Blue, Car Blue, Car Blue. <laughs> I mean, you know, just all this shit. And this is their position. Now, I'm not sure if you may or may not have played Minecraft. But it's more like this. X, Y, Z. Pretty fucking simple, right? Well, except for the fact you don't get to see a map and you can't hold your little map up and view, so you kind of have to guess. Which is where our little notepad comes in handy. Huh? Huh? So we got our position, and that is just kind of the starting position of the player. And I believe there's actually a car. Oh, shit. What number was that? 1074. Okay. You can just kind of glance down. You might end up finding a car near there. When I, when I, see, look, right there. 1029. So that means there is a car really close to that X and probably Y. Yeah, there's a car right away from you. So, this will be the this will be a good car to start with. Good location. Now, if you wanted to spawn a car right on top of where you were, you can do that. That's a cool story, bro, but I really wouldn't recommend dying. So, I'm going to have to take a little guess on it. Now, I've already modded this. I put... Mother fucking Harleys. I've already modded this. Got car white, and then I found that. That's near the spawn. Um, I also recommend doing this with a sleeping bag very very useful too um, that way you can actually see when you respawn the exact coordinates of the sleeping bag um, anyways so if you wanted to say spawn a house just a new house all you gotta do is find something you want let's see if we can find a blue house I've already modded this one actually so I'll just oh shit I'll show you that house blue all I did right here for this went up here I think it's towards the top. Scroll on up, Mr. Scroll Ball. And here it is. First house blue. So I took this, copied it, woo, pressed, got right here, enter, control V'd that shit right here. Alright, and then all I did was I replaced the coordinates, the position, if you will. It would have looked something like this. I made it into what that current sleeping bag was. Now, uh, I'm in a different spawn zone, so, you know, this is what the current one is. And, uh, yeah. So what you're going to do is kind of copy, paste this shit, or excuse me, paste it right over here. Might see a little bit of cutting, by the way. There's a lot of cool Harley guys out here making a lot of noise for me uh, at fucking 9.30 at night. Um... You want to hit copy and paste. Say, I mean, this is... You can do this with any of these things. Anything. Um, and you will be pasting. So, where did I get the coordinates for these? I believe, in my handy manny notepad, I had it up here. This was the sleeping bag coordinates. As you can see right here. A little different. I moved it to the side because I didn't want the house to be on top. And moved this, changed that to 4 change that to 20. So this is literally, this is 3 cubic feet off the ground. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, you kind of, this one is ground, this is Z, and this is Y axis and X axis. <sighs> okay, okay. Sorry if I suck. This is my first modding tutorial. Alright, so what you'd want to do is you'd want to copy that paste it over this. I'm not really going to. I thought about it, but it's so hard because the next part is so freaking annoying. Um, and you can you can copy and paste as many lines as you want. If you want to go to every spawn and might might write down all the coordinates, that'd be a fucking great idea. Um, I just found this about an hour ago, so I decided to record it after waking up. Another reason I'm stuttering. So, I already have this pre-modded 
I have the house blue currently um, three cubic feet off the ground I believe entity spawners we'll talk about this real quick um, spawn small this is uh, just a small groups of uh, of uh, zombies large medium pretty self-explanatory their position their size which I believe this is in radius and their trigger I have no idea I have not played with entities that much and then this is cars mostly yeah it's all cars and then this so what you want to do sorry for the cut there you go to prefabs after you do that save all um, sometimes this will need to be saved that's why I just say save all I'm not even gonna save it right now um, so yeah let's go uh, let's go look at this blue house that's supposed to have spawned with two white cars basically right next to each other as you can see these are uh, definitely they're not integers they're float the, this is a float point numbers so you can have decimal places uh, to be very precise with placement um, so yeah guys I do know what I'm talking about a little bit and we will load the game up crack this baby open it's a cool looking dude blah mod 2 I believe it's this one yes alright before I go any further in order for this to work you have to do a new game here's why so you understand I know it sounds stupid whenever you save your game okay just like in Minecraft it saves placement chunks because if it didn't every time you loaded up the game the level would reset and you wouldn't have your housing you wouldn't have your supply well you could have your supplies but you wouldn't have your housing and everything it'd be like you reset the world so to, to, to prevent that they uh, use the chunks just like Minecraft uh, it, I'm assuming uh, that would be a smart decision and everything so you'd have to go to new game and then you'd have to make your way to where those coordinates were which is why I said make putting a house like at every coordinate area would be pretty freaking pretty good idea Anyways, let's continue on to the game. I spent a long time walking to this location, and uh, I'm going to save y'all time watching me fail. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Am I getting sneaked up on? So, as I said, the house is three feet above the ground, which is actually kind of nice for hordes. I didn't intend it to be that high, but you know, it works, right? Got my two white sedans. right next to each other I need it I need it that so I'm gonna quickly okay fuck oh Fuck. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Woo! What the fuck? Well, son of a bitch. Well, anyways, don't build your house in the sky. I forgot about the structural integrity. As you can see, this mod is a complete... It, it, we're doing this. will work. Uh, have a little bit of fun with the game. And don't be afraid to experiment. Just make sure you back that shit up. Never forget to back it up. Now then, say you can't afford or can't seem to pirate a version of this. This is a legal version, mind you, I swear. Uh... It's because of a certification class in CompTIA that I took. I got a whole bunch of Microsoft stuff for free. But say, you know, you ain't cool like that or whatever. You always get that Hex Workshop. So if you want to look at it in ugly-ass format, you can come down here, Hex Edit Workshop. Mine just happens to be in there. It's typically on the desktop, but let's save time. Ignoring that... See this same thing, decoration type, model, name, you know, everything. It's just not as pretty looking. 
not as uh, well formatted, but you can do the same exact thing. You can get the coordinates down right here, uh, bounce it back. That easy, baby, let me tell you. Um, so, yeah. Now, I know some of you elitists out there, some of you pro elitists out there that are amazing programmers, and I have no doubt, are probably going to say that's some little petty shit. But you know what? I found this all on my own, and as far as when I looked it up today, I'm the only video to have anything up. So, with this. So, you know, enjoy it. I don't know how long these will be working. I'm currently on alpha version. Alpha version. Alpha version. 4.2.0.11237. Now, who's to say it won't work later on on different worlds when they say have, like, you know, a whole bunch right here? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I do support this game. I do recommend you buy it. Um, you know, it's it's support this game. Okay, if these guys do it right and don't turn into an EA about it, th this this has such a an amazing uh, opportunity to be a great game. And um, who knows? It may end up outweighing uh, uh, some of the other competitors, like on Gary's Mod and stuff like that. Anyways, Muted Productions here. Snippo117, also my Xbox gamer tag. If you're interested, hit me up. Any questions, comment, message, whatever. Um, yeah. So, thank you, and see you next time.